First of all, I want to thank God for uh, keeping us both uh, safe in the ring. And I want to thank you to all the, the people, the fans, and the media press for always supporting boxing. And uh, I really appreciate uh, their love in boxing. I did my best tonight, but my best wasn't good enough tonight. No excuses. I want to... I wanted to fight for the title in the, in the ring, and tonight the champion is named Ogas. I've done a lot for boxing, and boxing has done a lot for me. I look forward to spending time with my family and thinking about my future in boxing. I want to thank all my fans that came to see me fight tonight. I want to thank all of you in the media for telling my story about what Manny Pacquiao has done in boxing. For how many decades you, press and media and the boxing fans, always behind us, supporting us. That's why we're here. We become popular and we uh, accomplish our dream as a, as a fighter because of you. In the future, you may not see Manny Pacquiao again to, uh, to fight in the ring. I don't know, but uh, for how many decades, I'm so happy of what I have done in boxing. I contribute a record in boxing also, and to make boxing in the top, especially bring honor to my country, the Filipino people. And I'm so proud to be a Filipino and thankful to all the fans all over the world. May the Lord keep you safe, always, especially this pandemic. Thank you to all of you. Media press. Specifically, what made Ugas so difficult for you, and was he better even than you expected him to be? Actually, I know um, his style, but the thing is, uh, I want to uh, do my plan, but my plans in the ring, uh, I have a lot of techniques for his style, but uh, the thing is, uh, but I'm not saying that this is my excuse, but no, you know, my two legs is cramping, I cannot move, that's why I cannot move around. I, I can, you know, er in early days, I can easily move and outbox him, you know, you know Manny Pacquiao, but uh, this time around, uh, it's like a, uh, my uh, two legs is uh, tight and, and uh, uh, hurting, hurting me in uh, second round until 12 rounds. So, uh, but I'm not making excuses. That's the reason why I cannot move and uh, I'm just staying and counter him, uh, countering him of uh, his uh, punches. Uh, that's what happened. So um, that's boxing. I mean, uh, I have that. I've done a lot in boxing, and I'm happy that uh, we're safe. Um, what are the factors that you're going to use to decide whether to retire or not? You indicated you're leaning that direction, but what will be the factors that go into your decision whether you fight again or not? You know, like I said, there's a purse or not. I can, I can in my heart, I, can, I want to fight. I, can, I want to continue fight. But the thing is, uh, I have to consider also my, my, my body. I have to consider a lot of things, especially of my work uh, back to the Philippines, back to my country. There is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things that I need to accomplish and to help people. Um, that's my mission. And I want to be an inspiration uh, to all the people, especially the Filipino people, inside and outside the ring. That's my, my goal. You mentioned your legs cramping. Uh, do you think that that was an age thing, or were there other factors, do you think, that contributed to that? I don't know, because I think uh, um, too much uh, uh, hard work, training. I run in the mountain and then also doing a 32 rounds uh, uh, every day. So I don't know. but. Uh, well, we're not young anymore.
<laughs> um, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about it. Yes, uh, he's boxed for a long, long time, and he's boxed with me for a long time, and he's my best customer I've ever had. He's the best guy, the best fighter, and, um, you know, I hate to see that day when he retires, but this could be it, and um, we didn't have a great performance tonight, but um, um, we'll see what, what Manny decides. You know, as long as I live in this world, I want to leave a legacy, not only uh, being a good fighter, but I want to leave a legacy as an inspiration to, all, to everybody. Like I said, inside and outside the ring. Um, I'm not talking about, a, I'm not talking in, in a politician way, but I am a public servant. I want to help people. Even my own money, I give back to the people. So that's my mission. Um, I think uh, for me, material things, material things in this world is not, you cannot bring that to, 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 uh, to the grave. I mean, uh, when our lives are uh, finished in, in this world, uh, we can take uh, nothing. We came to this world nothing, naked, and we will depart naked. We have to remember that. And uh, in this sport, this is my passion. That's why I'm still here, keep on fighting. At the age of 40, uh, 42, uh, I'm enjoying it, but uh, you know, sometimes you have to think about uh, the response of your uh, body. What's next for the great senator of our country, Philippines? Uh, one thing, you might not uh, uh, happen this uh, situation. It might be uh, finish my career at boxing, but uh, this is my, my statement to, to all the boxing fans, the b people are all over the world. You know, we entertain people, we entertain in the ring, but the most important thing is what we, what we have done to others, how we can help them, not only for a Filipino, but to all our brothers and sisters all over the world, how we can help each other, especially this pandemic. A lot of people are hung, hunger, starving, uh, experiencing difficult times, how we should uh, 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 esteem them, help them, and show our uh, hospitality and uh, uh, love for them. Uh, always remember this. God is love, and therefore we must love each other and helping each other. Show it not only by, by words, but by action. And thank you to all of you, press, media, the fans, the promoters, who always uh, giving us a chance. I'm really appreciate of what you have done. Um, I mean, thank you to all of you. Thank you, boxing.